Hi, I'm Joel. And I'm Leah, and today we're going to be talking about the British healthcare system, the NHS. So as you may or may not know, England has one of the best healthcare systems in the world, and it's something that we get asked a lot about because it's quite interesting. It's not the same as it is in other countries. And just in case any of you don't know, NHS stands for National Health Service. So if we're saying NHS, it just means our healthcare system in the UK, in yeah, England. In England. They do have similar health services in Wales, Scotland and Ireland. I think they do differ slightly. So we're just going to say this is what happens in England because we know that this does happen in England. Um, yes. Yeah. The only one amazing thing that, does, that, that did happen to me in Scotland was that I had tonsillitis. So I went to the NHS. Obviously, I was seen very like i think within an hour i was seen and i was given a prescription and i was given antibiotics containing penicillin which usually would cost around seven eight pounds mm -hmm. and for free so scotland had free prescriptions yeah so that's, that's just amazing. one little tip fact yeah well that's the first main thing about the nhs here is that any prescription, one prescription will cost you £7.85, I think it is. So no matter how much that medicine costs, that medicine will cost probably hundreds of pounds, but yep. it's subsidised by the NHS, so we just pay £7.85 per prescription. Exactly, and it does not cost at all to go and see a doctor no, in England. It's completely it's free. Completely free. I say free, uh, we all pay our tax here, and part of our taxes go towards funding the NHS. Yeah. And still, it is a system that hasn't got enough funding behind it. Mm -hmm. Although we've only had positive experiences with the NHS, there are some people in the UK, in England, that have not had so many positive experiences. And you'll still find people out there that are slating the NHS mm -hmm. when the people inside, the people that are working so hard, the doctors and nurses, do an incredible yeah. job. They are the unsung heroes. Definitely. There's not enough people working for the NHS. So I know that there there are things like courses that are subsidised. and the So, for example, university will cost £9,000 a year. But if you want to train to become a nurse, there's no cost at all because they want to encourage people to come and study and work for the NHS. But yeah, even using hospitals is free. So if you have a last minute emergency and you need to call the emergency services and you need a big treatment going to the NHS for that is completely free. Really free. I think my brother, when he got seriously ill, he went to intensive care for like three months and then was in rehab for like three months. Um, that ultimately would have cost our, my family millions. If we were in the US, really? like my parents would have had to sell the house. They would have had, because it would no cost way. something ridiculous, like a hundred thousand pounds per week or something to keep my brother. No like, way. Yeah. On all so, the, the sort of things all the he machines, was on. Yeah, yeah. To pay for all of the fees and all the medication. So, it's just so foreign to us to think of a healthcare system where money. you would have to pay for it. Like you, you've said, I think, yeah. about in American films and things, Yeah, you see families that can't afford to pay the bills for healthcare, but that's just not a thing in the UK. So it just seems really, all. really odd that that's a thing to us. Obviously, it's not odd, but it's yeah. just not something we can relate to. And similarly, I think another thing that seems odd to me, like when I'm watching an American film, is the idea of... Um, say for instance we're in a scene and I'm like you lost your job you're fired mm. with that you lose your health care in America and there's no oh, okay. security yeah because yeah. With including that yeah, job yeah, would have course. been their health care benefits but in, in the UK in England specifically you can't just fire someone remove all of their health care privileges yeah. and you have to like give someone a reason give them a certain amount of time like a, yeah. a notice period mm. and like I just think that that makes us probably different as people because like we're not so much on edge yeah maybe we're more on edge maybe that's a big statement yeah. like you know just the idea of like absolutely nothing is certain ever yeah. you could go into work today and you could lose your job and you could not have a job tomorrow i think that's the scary it's, thing it's mental because my parents have a house in florida in the u.s and um there's been talk of being like oh maybe we'll move here one day but my parents the main thing holding them back is the fact that if they did move there mm. they wouldn't have any health care they would have to pay for their own health care yeah they wouldn't move out there and get a job and get health care included in a job because you know they're retired they're, they would be retired by then so yeah, it's just that's the main thing I think that puts people off moving to not just America but other countries that don't have national health care systems is um, the fact that 
healthcare can cost so much money. Yeah. And we don't realise how lucky we are. No, I mean, I don't have any idea how much it would have cost. Um, don't know if anyone's been following us this long, but back when I had my throat surgery mm-hmm. in 2012. Yeah, ages ago. So I had vocal nodules on both on both sides of my vocal cords and I was on a wait list for about six months with the NHS so I had my initial appointments and I said oh this is the problem they put cameras down my throat they were like yep you've got this problem we can do an operation and fix that you can go private you can be seen immediately if you pay twelve thousand pounds something like that or you can be on our wait list and we'll get round to you when we can Mm -hmm. it wasn't a tragic problem it was not life-threatening it was just something that was affecting my vocal quality my ability to sing and just my ability to talk without feeling exhausted yeah i had sort of like vocal therapy uh, a couple of times after the operation and that was all included yeah. for, for no money all just money that we as taxpayers all put into this big pot yeah and everybody is looked after yeah i think that's what some british people resent is having to pay extra taxes for the nhs we don't know we're going to research and do a video on uk tax uh, but i do think that we pay slightly more tax than people do in america for example mm. but i would have thought it more than pays for itself when you think that we don't have to pay anything except mm. 7 pound 85 per item that we get from the chemist yes um, and the way the prescriptions work is that every time you need to get your prescription again yeah so for instance say you're given a prescription of special tablets for migraines sometimes i get migraines so i have a prescription from the doctor and every time i go to collect 30 migraine tablets i pay seven pounds 85 once they they run out i get my prescription renewed i go to the chemist and i say here's my prescription i pay seven pounds 85 again yeah and that's it it's not and that is kind of capped. It's been seven eighty five for a while, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's been around the seven pounds mark. I don't yeah. know what exactly. But if you are under sixteen or if you're over sixty, then your prescriptions are free. I think as well if you are so unemployed, if... then they're free and there are certain other things as well. Yeah, if you're in full time um, education and you're sort of under eighteen as yeah. well, there's there's all sorts of things. If you're receiving a job seekers allowance or if you're receiving any benefits from the government because you're not able to support yourself completely on your own then Mm. you're also able to get free prescriptions yeah definitely so there are well i think the nhs is is amazing yeah it's great it's actually the biggest employer in the uk and it's apparently i think it's the fifth Fifth largest yeah in the world which is incredible it's a massive machine and i think it's really great i just realize that i take it for granted all the time yeah like right now i need to get i do need to go to the doctors for something and all it is just a case of me getting on the phone and just find, making sure i can get an appointment mm. i'll probably be seen within a week yeah in london it's harder you know sometimes you have to wait a bit longer for an appointment but mm. you'll get seen yeah and if you really need to be seen immediately you can go to A and E, which is like yeah. accident and emergency, and yeah. you can just sit in line and yeah. get seen. Or if it's not quite an emergency, you can go to a walking clinic, yeah. uh, which there may be like an hour wait or something, depending how many people are there. But you can just walk up and see a doctor that day, yeah. um, even if it's not quite an emergency. Another great thing that I will try and link down below if I remember is an article from an American that's moved to the UK. And I remember he was comparing the, the healthcare systems. Yeah. And... Um, was saying like the pros and cons of both. Of course, there are cons to the NHS. Yeah. Um, but overwhelmingly, he said he would choose a national health service over the private healthcare just because of the the worry of being able to make those payments and paying for health insurance is just not worth, you know, the the angst that it causes. Yeah, I can um, just about afford my phone bill, yeah. let alone a uh, uh, healthcare. a healthcare bill. Yeah. And and that's the other thing, isn't it? That people just say your health is the most important thing. Yeah. So how can you, you know, how could you live with the fear of potentially having like a thirty thousand pound bill or more yeah. to keep yourself alive, or yeah. to keep a family member alive? It's just so stressful. Yeah. And not just that, like obviously, if you've got insurance, you probably wouldn't have to pay that much. But sure. the fact of then having to pay insurance every single month just in case something goes wrong. Insurance companies um, are making a killing. Yeah, they definitely are. That's probably why they're not going to change anything in the US is because these massive companies are making so much money from it. But yeah, yeah, but it was established in the 40s. um, So we've had it all our lives. Our parents have had it all all their lives. lives, Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's just something that you don't tend to think about every day. Yeah. Yeah. 
like right now, um, my dad needs to have keyhole surgery in his knee, mm-hmm. and there are there are two options. He can stay on the wait list that he's on with the NHS, and they offer you an appointment. And if you can't make it, then that sucks for you. You got to wait for the next one. Uh, or you can just pay to be seen privately and go and mm. get seen. So you have the option of both. You always yeah. have the option, and the NHS don't have anything against anyone working privately. In fact, a lot of NHS NHS doctors also work in private clinics uh, just to double up their salary a bit more yeah. because they don't get paid a very gr- a very good amount from mm. the NHS. It's not a great no. salary. No. So they have to pick up these extra shifts privately. Mm. Um, also, that's a nice fact as well, that if you work for the NHS, you get discounts across the country. Loads of restaurants, shops, uh, experiences give NHS employees discounts. Yeah. So lots of my friends, when we're out going out for meals, they're like, oh, do you do, do, you do NHS discount? And some don't, but um, lots of them do. Yeah. And I think it's a nice way to reward people who do work for the NHS, yeah. who don't earn a huge amount of money by giving them discounts and just showing your respect to them. That yeah, do that. that's really sweet. But I hope that was informative for you guys. I'm sure we've missed out certain things. And if, if you'd like to see more on that, then let us know and I'm sure we can do another video on it. We just thought it might be helpful for you guys because similar to when we spoke about the education system in the UK, a lot of you were like, oh, great. Yeah, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Or you were actually able to add stuff because you've got extra knowledge that we didn't know. We just thought that this video would also be helpful for anyone who's interested. Yeah, definitely. Bit of a fun fact. I love yeah. learning about other cultures and things like that. Yeah, let yeah. us know what the healthcare systems are like where you are. We'd be interested to hear. Yeah. And uh, we will see you on the next video. Yeah, see Take you care. soon. Bye. Bye.